Hi everyone, this is Costa from Solitech Solutions and within this blog I'll be taking you through how to create evenly distributed points along an arbitrary curve, exporting that into Excel and looking at how we can export from Excel back into SolidWorks using two macros. Alright, so we'll take this arbitrary curve with lines and, lines and arcs and what we can do from here is apply some reference geometry use the point tool here. So if we use this tool we can select certain segments from the sketch and you can see that you can apply evenly distributed points and specify the number of points. Just notice with this that if I go to apply another arc it actually chooses another reference. So what we need to do is firstly just go back into this sketch apply a fit spline, right click, select chain. This will allow us to select all the segments that chain up together. Choose the tolerance and apply the fit spline. Now in applying the fit spline, we've got just one continuous curve now. So we can go back into that point tool in my reference geometry, select the fit spline, and now it generates evenly distributed points along that curve. When I go to press OK, it generates all the points. Now what we can do is just create another sketch and pre-select all these points and convert entities. Now we'll just hide all these points, hide the original, and we see that we've got this new sketch segment, this new sketch with all the converted entities here. So we can go ahead and delete this and just take note that these are coincident with the reference geometry from that convert entities. And from here, just run a macro. And this generates, or it should generate, an Excel document filled with points. I think first we needed to pre select. And we'll run that again. Alright, so this time we get all the points. Alright, so I'm just going to copy and paste this into one of the other macros. So here we'll just go ahead and hide this. This is the other one I'll be providing. And you just paste it to XYZ. And we just select this button. And it plots the points. Now it plots the points back into SolidWorks using a 3D sketch. So here we've got the points from going from the Excel document to SolidWorks. And here we've got those derived points from the original using the arbitrary curve with the fit spline and the reference geometry points and then doing the convert entities. Okay, thank you for listening.